Electoral College voters convened in state capitals across the country today and officially voted Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States. But that didn't stop uh, protesters from trying to convince electors to, quote, vote their conscience, unquote, and vote against Trump. A Republican elector in Texas uh, voted for John Kasich instead of Trump. I think this is the first time in America's history where we have someone who is clearly unfit uh, for office. In reality, though, most of the unfaithful electors today were in states where the vote had gone for Hillary Clinton, not for Donald Trump, only that one in Texas. But Trump uh, did get, of course, the needed 270 votes. A joint session of Congress will certify Trump as the 45th president of the United States. That's on January 6th. Idaho's four Republican presidential electors cast their votes today, but as KBOI2 Sierra Ashran shows us, a group of people put up a fight until the very last ballot was signed. She joins us now live That's at right, the That's right, roughly 40 anti-Trump protesters lined these stairs today, braving the cold weather as the electors prepared to vote today and cast their votes for Trump. Dozens gathered at the steps of the Capitol today, urging state electors to vote against Trump. Inside the Capitol, a different tone as Idaho's four Republican electors got ready to cast their vote. I'm going to support Donald J. Trump on this vote because of my grandson sitting right there. Donald J. Trump is going to make this nation a better nation. Rod Beck, who chaired Trump's primary state campaign, was one of two replacement electors. The other was Skip Smicer, a lobbyist and former lawmaker. Two of the original electors were replaced this morning because they are federal employees. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. The state's electors unanimously cast their votes for President-elect Trump and Vice President-elect Mike Pence. Electors nationwide have been asked to vote against Trump, but Idaho's stood by the state's popular vote. The very process that we went through at that table it what, is what protects those people uh, to disagree. And uh, so it, it seemed like uh, it was almost a dichotomy. January 6th, the certificate of vote will head to Washington, D.C., where Vice President Biden will read them on the House floor. As for Governor Bachotter, he could be joining the Trump administration himself as the U.S. Agriculture Secretary. This has gone on further than I, I did as uh, Department of Interior. So I'm a little more excited about this, but understand if I don't get it, but I'd like to have it. Trump won 306 electoral votes, and he only needs 270 to clinch the presidency. Reporting live at the State House, Sierra Oshrin, KBOI 2 News. And now a closer look at these electors. Jennifer Locke, seen on the left, is a committee woman from Kootenai County. Caleb Lakey, on the right, is an engineer with the Idaho Transportation Department. Now, the two new electors, Rod Beck, who chaired Trump's campaign in Idaho, replaced Lane Bangerter. And Skip Smiler replaced his wife, Melinda. She and Bangerter did not show up to vote because they are federal employees. The Idaho GOP is solely responsible for choosing the electors that are not voted on by the public. Uh, there are few restrictions on who can and can't be an elector, but the Constitution does prohibit senators, representatives, in other words, congressmen, and people elected to federal office from taking part. And in Washington today, four electors chose not to vote for Hillary Clinton. In protests, three voted uh, for Colin Powell. The other voted for a Native American leader named Faith Spotted Eagle. It's the first time in four decades that members of the college have broken from the popular vote.